Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're working on a Mazda CX-7. We're going to show you how to fix a common oil leak on those. It happens like every 80,000 miles, they start leaking oil and you can notice the leak on the bottom and you can even smell it because it sprays on the exhaust sometimes and it could develop a pretty good leak and you might run out of oil and ruin the engine. So this is the seal that we're going to replace. It cost us eight or nine dollars. You can get it on eBay. We got it from a dealer, Mazda dealer on eBay. And this this uh, seal is actually for the oil house, oil filter housing. So we'll be replacing it. Stay with us to see how to do that. So you don't need to go to the dealer and, and pay hundreds of dollars for this. They will even try to sell you an updated oil housing unit which is outrageous, I think it's like three, four hundred dollars. Okay, what you need to do is you need to jack up the car or put it on stands and you have to have safety jack stands of course. And now you have a bolt right there with 10 millimeter socket all the way around. I think it's eight bolts. We need to take those off so we can take the cover, the engine cover, the bottom cover off and we can access the oil filter housing. Okay, now we have the last bolt right there and the engine cover will be loose and will come right off. Okay, and right here, as you can see, this is the oil pan right there and this is the oil filter housing. You can see how much oil that thing lay. Look at, look at the bottom of the engine cover. All that is oil, right there, oil. And when you drive fast, actually that go oil the wind blows it in the exhaust and you can even smell the oil burning on the exhaust. Okay, as you can see the oil leak from the housing, oil filter housing, all the way when you drive fast it gets right there, the wind blows it on the exhaust. Right there, right before the catalytic converter and you can start smelling it inside the car, especially when you slow down somewhere, you can smell burning oil. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is we need to drain the oil. You need to locate the drain port which is on the back of the oil pan. It is with a 17 millimeter socket. So we need to take it off and drain the oil. Okay, we drain the oil. Now we need to put the oil plug back on, we, you, we, you need to get it tight, make sure it's tight, don't forget to tighten the plug. And next thing that we'll need to do is we need to get a bracket or those kind of pliers to take the oil filter which is on the front of the oil pan. It's between the radiator support and the oil pan right there. Okay, you need to make sure you grab it good, those tend to be really tight because the seal gets stuck but once you do a few revolutions it comes right off. You can even uh, drain the filter if you would like to with an allen wrench, not, not in the middle right there so you don't make such a big mess but it's up to you. Right there, this is the filter. Okay, this is your housing right here now. So there is one bolt with a 10 millimeter socket here and one on top, but it's kind of like hard to see. You can see it from this angle right there. We need to take the oil pressure sensor off right here. And then there is two bolts on this side, right there. 10 millimeter again. Those are easy, but however, this top one, in order to access it, we need to take the oil pressure sensor off. And we don't know the exact size. I guess it's 24 or 25 millimeter. We just use one of those adjustable wrenches, so we need to take it off. Okay, we got the oil pressure sensor off right there, and now you can see both. 10 millimeter bolts there and there on this side and two on the other side and we need to take these off with a 10 millimeter socket. Okay, we got it off the block, the old housing, old filter housing. 
and now as you can see it moves this is one of the gaskets that's between the bog and the oil, oil filter housing right there I will recommend to replace it when you do the repair as you can see this one started rusting but if it's not leaking it's it's your deal if you want you, you can if you don't it's fine but since you're doing the job I'll recommend to replace it now right there okay this is the oil filter housing right there so one person on the bottom can guide it and here with a long extension and a 15 millimeter socket there is one ball on top and we just need to take this one off all the way we don't need to drain the antifreeze because it's staying inside the cooler so it's not gonna leak out you only leak a little bit of oil okay right there we got it loose and this is the old filter housing right there we got it out and now this is the gasket right there that we're, that's going bad every I would say 80,000 miles if you're lucky 100,000 miles if you're not so lucky 60,000 miles right there we need to replace this one okay this is the oil seal as you can see the rubber is so flat that it didn't seal at all and it started leaking and this one you can see how thick the rubber is you can feel it and this one is just just flat like nothing holding the oil so it can develop really serious leak and you run out of oil in, in no time in a few minutes so what you need to do now you need to get the oil filter housing it's right there and you, you need to clean it really good clean it good maybe use a little bit of um, a stone for the top just to clean it and then you need to clean the other part right that's on the car still with the hoses with the coolant and you just need to put the the seal back on and as you can see it goes on in a certain way because those are not 180 degrees from each other so you need to make sure that it lines up and put it back together the same way we took it apart thank you for watching guys please give us a like and subscribe for more videos i hope the video was helpful to you thank you for watching us